Hello everyone, I'm HC and welcome back to another video of uh, comparing two reusable face covers that I recently bought. So I've got the Under Armour one, uh, which is basically a non-medical um, reusable uh, face mask. Then I've got this one, which is a U mask. It's as good as uh, medical ones, they claim, um, N95 rating because it also comes with a filter inside. So today was a good test because it was really, really hot today. Um, it was really uh, sunny and uh, the humidity was quite hot. Um, so with the Under Armour mask, they claim that, you know, it's great for uh, athletes or workouts. So, you know, if you're going running and it's got a material called ISO Chill, which basically keeps cool to the touch for as long as you wear it. Now, what I did was walk 10 minutes to the post office with this mask and then on my return journey, I wore my U mask just to compare how good they were. Um, quite frankly, I'm a little disappointed with the Under Armour mask, um, just purely because of, you know, the, the bold claim that, you know, it's got this ISO chill material which keeps cool. So I wore it and um, firstly though, it's a good um, and comfortable mask to wear although it's quite thick it's got a lot more room in inside the uh, mouth and nostril area compared to the U mask um, and that made me think that oh you know more air will be able to kind of move around so it'd be fresh and cooler but in truth not really <laughs> if anything uh, it made me sweat a lot more because all the air was really just trapped there all the heat and um, it was making me sweat around my mouth area and um, the one thing I don't like about this mask compared to the U mask was that so on the U mask when I'm wearing it to adjust I'll demonstrate oh. so for this mask all I have to do is basically move it up a bit from the bottom to get some fresh air in there and then just kind of pull it back down and because of the way this mask was designed the contour here around the face was really really good so i don't have to adjust it at the top i just needed to adjust it at the bottom and that's great i love that whereas with the under armor one wrong again with the under armor one even though i could adjust it here to do the same thing and allow it to move in as soon as i pull it back i would have to kind of fidget with this part just so that it's you know back in line again with my face um i really hated that that was quite annoying um for the, as i mentioned i wore this mask back home and i wore this one to the post office I have to say that the U mask is much better. If you're looking for a reusable mask, I would definitely recommend the U mask. Not only is it more comfortable to wear, um, you actually get better breathability out of this. It doesn't make your mouth sweat as much as the Under Armour one did. And obviously the great thing about this one is that, you know, it comes with a filter, it's much more protective. Um, you know, it's in the same class as an N95 mask, whereas this one is, a non PPE so it's purely you know just like to stop you spitting out or if someone was to breathe onto you you know just so you get some protection out of it but it's not as good as the U mask so price wise 39 euros under armor 26 pounds now you know the price is more or less similar I would definitely go for the U mask so overall um, I think if someone, you know, is a big fan of Under Armour and does want a reusable mask that, not to say that is, you know, super bad, you know, but just in comparison to the U mask one, I would go for the U mask. Uh, I hope you like this product review and um, it's helped you make a decision on buying your next mask. Um, stay safe and till next time. Goodbye.